Hey there, y'all. Disney D. Prince here today with another Barbie unboxing. Today, we have got the dolls you have been waiting for. These are the 65 years of inspiring stories, fashionistas. These are fashionista dolls number 214 through 218 and 220 through 225. These dolls are based on classic Barbie looks that are being brought into the new Mattel landscape all at the same price of about uh, $11. Some of these have already gone on clearance because I did wait until both series were out. So that way we could do like a complete look at the first and the second. So we are gonna take a look at all of the ones that are available that fall under the 65th, except for the Ken dolls who got their own video. So, without further ado, let's take a look at our first doll. It's going to be Barbie Fashionista 214 Twist and Turn Barbie. Now this is a new face sculpt. We know that she was supposed to be designed off of like Chinese streetwear. She has got a t-shirt that's reminiscent of the um, big over swimsuit part that the original Twist and Turn had down there. Again, it's got the Barbie 65 inspiring stories shaping the future logo here on the bottom. She does have a headband. She's got some pink boots in there. Here is her UPC and item number right there for you guys in case you're looking for her. I picked all of these up at the uh, like same time, same price. I pre-ordered them all through Amazon because I was tired of hunting for fashionistas. So here she is outside of the box. So no glare. She's very pretty. The screening is pretty good. Not a ton of pixelation on anything. Her lips are a little off center, but you know, I don't mind that because my face is slanted. So, you know, respect to these dolls. And we're going to take a look at getting them all out. So my first thing that I am seeing that I do kind of have a problem with is that the t-shirt material does not continue around the back. I don't know why. It doesn't make any sense, uh, but it does not. So if you are hoping that this entire shirt is made of this material, I hate to disappoint you, but it is not. On top of that, there is no Velcro to this shirt. So you do kind of have to just uh, slide it down the body if you're going to take a look at it. So it says twist and turn up the volume. It does have a iridescent shimmer fabric for the front of it and a uh, poly cotton blend here on the back or maybe spandex blend, uh, but very cute. Again, very cute face mold. She is a 22 face sculpt, 2022 face sculpt. She's got a little um, like fake plastic ribbon in her hair. She does have some undertone of pink under there. So that's kind of fun, little pink streaks. We've seen these shoe molds before, but never in this peach. So that's kind of fun. She is on a petite body, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Yeah, petite. Um, she's on a petite body. That does mean that she is going to probably be a good match for our Christy Yamaguchi Barbie. Let me grab her to compare for you guys. Because I didn't realize our first one was going to be on a petite. So if you haven't watched my Christy Yamaguchi Barbie video, check it out. Here is the skin tone match. 
she is a match for Christy Yamaguchi. So that's great because that means we can keep her petite, which before Christy Yamaguchi was not an option on this doll. But very cute. So we're going to put her back in her outfit for now, even though I will go through and rebody them all. Eventually, in the video to save time, I'm just going to show you guys the skin tone matches just to be able to get through this video in a timely manner. So you can kind of like throw it as an off-shoulder kind of vibe, but very cute. So that's 214. So if she matches Christy Yamaguchi, she's going to be a match for the purple top made to move and... Um, the Lux Deluxe Lena, the one that comes with two outfits. Those are her other body types. Or the original curvy uh, strawberry blonde. 215 is our Superstar Barbie. Or not Superstar, but uh, Barbie and the Rockers, I guess. 1986. Very cute. She's kind of basic, but I don't hate the top. She's got little white boots under there that we're kind of used to. Here is her uh, UPC and item number. Again, all of these I got at retail price, so under um, $12 usually. And they do open a little bit easier now, which is nice. I think I've got the trick to him, finally. But she's very cute. She's very basic. Like, I feel like I have this doll a hundred times already. Uh, between the basketball players, the soccer players, and the... Uh, basketball players, soccer players, and a couple of the other dolls. But she's very cute. I will give her that... Let's see, she's a 2019 sculpt. So she is a little bit newer, so that's good. Her pixelation isn't horrible. Again, we've got these, very cute. She is on a high-heeled body that is original, I think, possibly. So she's on an original body, and she is a match for our um, for our green made to moves. So that's going to be our um, curvies. It's going to be our boxer. It's going to be a couple of others because she's a little too dark for this one. Um, or a little too light for that one. But maybe a better match for our tall? Yeah, so pretty good match for the tall basketball player. Let's see our other option right now would be uh, petite. Not a horrible match, but still a little too dark for the Carl. So you have a couple of different options when it comes to rebodying, which is great. I don't dislike this skirt as much as I thought I was going to, because the pattern actually continues all the way around, and it's not made out of a like a pleather like we usually get this skirt. So that's fine. Again, the top is very basic. It's got a um, it's got elastic, or not elastic, uh, Velcro closure. She's got a very basic face. I like basic faces because they're actually realistic. So let's take a look at 216. So 216 is our tall. She is the peaches and cream Barbie. That's back there from 1985. She's very cute. Here is her UPC and her item number. And we are going to pop this out so we can see her without the glare. 
So her outfit is a little kind of out there. Um, it does have the poofiness of the original, but then she's got these new shoe molds, which is kind of interesting. She does have earrings built in, which is nice. Uh, and then the other thing we want to look at. Okay, so we do need to just go through and trim this one because it's making the whole outfit lay weird. Okay, there we go. So once we take that off, so it's actually an asymmetrical dress. As you can see, we've got one sleeve that's actually made of this material and one that's not. She is very cute face up. She is a 2017 sculpt. She's got a very basic hair combo, which is fine. Uh, she is on a tall. And let me show you. I think Simone might be a match. Okay, so no, no to this one. So that is unfortunate, which means we're not going to be able to keep her as a tall. Um, because for some unknown reason, we do not get talls in that shade. Or we have not gotten talls in that shade. But, let me see. So we've got... No, not that one. Maybe our new looks. No, still too light. Hold on. Ugh. I have to get my entire big uh, set out. Okay. So we've got L. There we go. Now she's a match. Kind of. Sort of. Yeah, close enough. A slight undertone difference, if I'm being honest, but it'll be fine if we keep her on this one. There's also the wheelchair Barbie, which is a decently close match, really. I mean, she's a little bit lighter, but a lot more readily available than this look doll. But not bad. Again, these are what the shoes look like. Again, we're getting this weird like square heel, which is fine, you know. And then an up close of the earrings. Very fun. That's a new earring mold. I don't love this dress. Again, it is a, uh, a stretch dress. So you literally just have to pop it up and over, which is eh. I wish this one was a little more structured, even if it was just like this, like taken in just a little bit. If they still kept this like big ruffle down here at the bottom, I think that would have been better. This is just kind of shapeless, unfortunately. It makes me want to put this on a curvy to like force some curves into that garment but still really cute. So now we have Superstar Barbie. This is Fashionista 217, and the 1977 Superstar Barbie. She is very cute. She is again, one of our, uh, one of our tan skin tones. We'll see which one. We've got her, I don't know why. Uh, here's the item number. This is the wrong barcode. Uh, this is the Kohl's barcode. I think I picked this up at Kohl's because um, I saw her in stores. Uh, but the item number should let you find it on Amazon now. She does have a new necklace. It says Star. I thought that was the love necklace because I never really paid attention to it. So that is a new mold. But 
she is very cute. She's got flat feet. So we've got new flats right there, which is not bad. She's got a very cute face. She is one of the unnamed molds though. So uh, she's one of the fashionistas, I wanna say 2020. Um, so the bulk of the dress is like a stretch satiny, um, which is not bad. I like that material. It tends to hold up pretty well. And then we're going to fix this ruffle. The ruffle does end at the shoulders here on the back which is fine because it won't mess with the hair. Yeah, she's a 2020 mold, like I thought. I like this type of hair most of the time. I just don't like it when it's a top knot. This part is actually gelled, so she has like a permanent bump it, which is kind of funny. Here is the close-up on those shoes. They're actually kind of cute, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe one of my favorite flats. Um, as far as a skin tone match. Let's compare her. Uh, she is going to be slightly darker than the green skin tone, so maybe she is a match for our Carl. Uh, pretty close. Not an exact match, but it's not bad. Um, she is on an original body, though, so if I did put her on this one, it's going to be petite. There are a couple of original bodies that are that shade. I think the yellow top made to move is that shade, but very cute. Now, our last of the initial roundup is 218, and that is our... Uh, Workout Star, I think is her official title, the 1984. If you guys haven't seen my review of 213, she's included in the same video as the big 65th anniversary dolls. That's why she's not in this video. Uh, this is our only curvy of the series. So we've got one petite, one tall, one curvy, two original. Um, here is the UPC and the item number right there for you guys for the workout Barbie inspired one. It's very cute. I like the vibes that she brings. I don't love her shoes, but her shoes are for workouts, which is fine. Uh, she does have like what I would consider like mermaid color hair, uh, which is fine, but I just don't love it when we have other options. Okay. Lots of rubber bands in this series. Keeping everything in tight. Okay. And we'll keep that one there because that's holding the little watch on there. So it is two pieces, which is great. The stripes are only supposed to be on that side. And on the top, it is a tube top that pulls up. The pattern does go all the way around. So nice stretch, but it is designed to fit a curvy so it is probably not going to work really well for the other dolls. Let's see about a skin tone match. I think we'll be able to go right to this one. Yep. Okay. So this one's going to be your skin tone match, our new yoga. So that is really all there is to that one. But let's take a look at her face. She's got a very clear screening. She's got a 2016 sculpt. 
uh, nice bright blue eyes that remind me kind of the uh, superstar eyes because they're a little bit of violet in there. I don't know why she's got this like compass watch thing on her, but it's kind of fun. I would have preferred like, you know, a headband or something like that, but still really cute. Pretty decent. I like the ice blue hair sometimes. I'm just not a huge fan of it on uh, every single doll that we get, kind of fashionistas. So those are the five that came out really in like 2023. 21 through 25 have come out in 24. And they are just now starting to ship out, kind of like be readily available from Amazon and places like that. So we're going to take a look at them. So 2021, or 221 is the uh, first Black Barbie inspiration. She looks great. Like, I love a nice afro, and the red dress is such a great nod to her original look. And the fact that they did the same, like, collar on her looks great. Here is the UPC and the item number right there in case you're trying to find them. And here is the full lineup now. The only ones that I haven't seen in stores are the 219 Ken. And I don't know why, but he's just not there. So it's fine. Um, he's not actually part of the uh, 65 Club, so... He wasn't going to be included in that video anyway, but they're very cute. So here are the shoes. We've seen these shoe molds before, which is fine. Again, we've seen the necklace mold. The dress is very cute though. So we're going to take a look at it. Uh, so she's very cute she's got a little bit of box hair we're gonna we're gonna poof that out just a little bit pick it out uh, but she is super pretty she is a 2011 sculpt uh, which for the life of me I cannot remember who that is uh Anyway, but she's got a lovely face, nice clean printing. This material is honestly pretty sturdy. I was thinking it was going to be a kind of a cheaper, thinner fabric, but it's not. It's actually really thick. Like if you can see how wide those seams are, it's because this fabric material is actually very thick. There is the close-up of the necklace and the shoes. She does have a bit of matte printing on her legs, but that's okay. We're going to swap her into a new body anyway. Let's see. Are you pretty close? Yeah. Pretty close on this one. She's maybe half a shade darker. So not that one, maybe original wheelchair. No, okay. Our only other option really is this one. Okay, no, so she's gonna be a match for uh, this one, which is great. Now I think I think that means she's also a match for Brooklyn, if I remember right. No, I'm wrong. Uh, so our lovely new Barbie Looks doll is going to be your match for a made to move or as close as you're going to get, which is great because I ordered extras. Of her. Whoop. They're falling down like flies. I think we're just going to lay everybody down for the time being. Uh, 
don't worry, they'll all come back. So, next up, we've got 222. And that is our uh, Golden Dreams Superstar. Yeah, if I remember right, Golden Dream, 1980. Very cute. She is a petite doll. That means she's probably going to be a match for our newest Victoria from the Barbie looks. Here we go. Her item number and her UPC. Wah, wah, wah. Okay. So she's got a full jumpsuit, which I think is great. She's also got glittery boot heels, which is just awesome. She does have this dream necklace, but you know, it kind of goes with her vintage vibe from the 80s. Everything was a little tacky back then. It's fine. That was what they were going for. Um, so they are very cute. Okay, we're gonna pop this hair out. She is a 2011. We're going to So she's very pretty. We don't get a ton of um, tan skin dolls that have blonde hair, usually. The last one I could think that we got really was the, um, the Martial Arts Olympics doll, if I remember right. So this material feels decently thick. Okay, yeah. So it's decently thick. Again, look at the size of those seams. That's how you can kind of tell how thick the material is, is how bunchy the seams are on the inside. Her feet are fully transparently visible in these shoes, which is kind of fun, um, but is also going to make... Um, a lot more of a difference in some of these. But here is our uh, Petite Victoria. Again, perfect match. And we'll get to keep her body shape. So she'll trade the pink jumpsuit for the gold eventually. So nothing too wild. Again, her face screening is very solid, not a huge amount of pixelation. She does have like violet eyes with gold eyeshadow. Like she's one of the prettier dolls I think we've seen so far in this one. Um, so next up is 223, the rebirth of the Totally Hair Barbie from 1992. She is very cute. She does have some vintage earring molds. She's got a new dress with that same pattern on it. She has got some crimped hair and some pink heels under there. Here is her UPC and her item number, in case you're trying to find her. I did only order one of these. I thought about ordering multiples for the dress, but it's okay. I did order multiples of the Tolly totally Hair Ken, though, but that's because he was a new mold. And this is sadly just an open mouth Millie. But, like, that's okay. I'm not against open mouth Millies or closed mouth Millies. I'm just kind of meh. I'm ambivalent to them at this point. Because Barbie's got to be something. So, here she is. Not a ton of detailing on her. Nothing, uh, nothing jumps out at me for her makeup or anything like that. We're going to trim these rubber bands now. Okay. Okay, there we go. And again, triangle earrings, very cute. She's got crimped hair that's more crimped by the rubber bands. 
I like the cut of this dress. To me, this is what just standard Barbie dresses should be. I love the slight flare to the skirt. Here are the hot pink shoes. I don't think we've actually gotten these in hot pink before, which is kind of surprising. They do match the earrings, so I'm here for that. Um, but she is going to be our standard uh, Millie. Let's see. So not the pink top, uh, which means she'll probably be a good match for. Yeah, okay. So like volleyball player, we could make her tall. Uh, she's going to lose the shoes if we make her tall. I have not gotten the newest um, Yoga Barbie. I think she's also the skin tone, which means she'd be a new match. Uh, but let me see who else we've got. Bum, bum, uh, Lena is a little light, but would be an okay match. Um, for an original body, there are a couple of lighter Millies that are around also. So, she's very cute. I don't know if she's going to get rebodied for the permanent collection, just because her face doesn't really add anything. She doesn't have special makeup or anything on there. She's just a Millie, like with the standard screening. But her hair is great. And her outfit looks awesome. Next up, 224. That is our Quick Curl Barbie from 1973. She is very cute. And I am a little sad that they, like, strapped her hair down because it's supposed to curl. But we'll see if it curls when we take her out of the box. She also has some flats that are in, like, a pearlescent white. She's got a little black pearl bracelet, which is the first time we've seen that one. Here is her UPC and her item number. And then let's take a look at her out of the box. So again, very cute. These are the shoes I was talking about. Very sweet. It goes with the vibe. take her out like this and she has something that not a lot of Barbies visibly have anymore and that is blush like she has got some pretty pronounced blush on there like a lot of the Barbies still have blushing it's just not as pronounced But because she is on a light skin doll, because she is already uh, has like a pinkish base, it means we're going to see that a lot heavier on her. But it's very cute. I'm here for it. There's the pearlescent white. Here's a little black pearl. She does have some curl to her hair. She is a 2024, so she is a brand new sculpt, which is really nice. Um, she is going to be a match for our tennis player, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, uh, no, I am mistaken. I mean, it's not a bad color match if you're in a bind, but she is actually going to be a match for our uh, purple top made to move or the, uh, like the Lena. This is the tall, which I think she's on an original body. Um, if I remember right, or if I can see right, let's see. Uh, compare these heights yeah okay so she's on an original body so I'd want to use one of the purple top made to moves for her to keep her at her original body size again 
if she matches that one, she's going to match the new Christy Yamaguchi. Or the tall looks Lena. But very pretty, and I'm glad I got her. Our last doll that we've got is our lovely, curvy, date night Barbie, or date flare, I think. 1983 Barbie. She has got some curly textured hair. She has got a really cute face up. She has got a molded belt, which we don't see a ton of belts. She has got some little kitten heels under there. Here is her UPC with her item number. And we are going to get them out. So here she is out of the box. Very, very cute. I cannot place her face sculpt though, which I have high hopes for. Because she is Le Gorgeous. Um, so here she is out of the box. We're gonna trim off these rubber bands because we want them off of her hair to try and poof that hair up some more. Okay, so she has got the dress. <sighs> Points off for feeling like it's the cheapest material. This up here is great. This up here is great. This down here you can hear that. Like, that's really bad, like, poly satin. She is a 2023 sculpt. Okay, so that's why I don't recognize her. I, for the life of me, cannot figure out who she is, or if this is the first time we're getting her. But she is gorgeous. Um, so, we're going to take a look at her. Or at her color matches. She is on a curvy. I already know I'm probably not going to be able to keep her body type. Let's see, is she Brooklyn? No, she's a little bit lighter than Brooklyn. Um, I might have a Freya that'll match her. Maybe. Freya. No. I don't have any more Freya left. That's disappointing. Let's see. Oh, nothing in there. Ouch. Uh, so, oops, sorry about that. Everybody went topsy turvy. Because um, my cord got caught. So, unfortunately. I don't know if I'm going to have any matches for her right now. I may have to go pull a Freya out of my collection. So right now she could go on the looks Carl and make her petite. Um, the only problem with that is she is going to lose her outfit because this belt is fit for a curvy and the whole outfit is fit for a curvy. So. If we do that, we'll have to restyle her, um, which is, it's fine. Um, but she is super cute. So we do have a match for her, just not the perfect uh, body type match, which I could probably go through my collection and find somebody who's on a Freya body who I don't like as much which is probably what I will do. Uh, so, I will be back with all of these girls rebodied, and we will take a look at their body matches. Be back in just a second, y'all. 
All right, y'all, we've got them all rebodied onto their new made to move bodies, except for Totally Hair Millie, because I don't need her. Really, I can take the earrings and put her on a Millie with a better face and longer hair. Maybe on one of the actual Totally Hair Millies. Because, like, this one still kind of goes with those colors. Um, but I was able to get them all onto bodies that matched their skin tones. I did swap some of our body types around for ones that we didn't have exact color matches for. Um, the Peaches and Cream and the uh, Barbie and the Rockers got swapped to regular for a tall because I had them. Um, Rockers Barbie is on the basketball player and then um, of course we've got Lux L for Peaches and Cream. Peaches and Cream, surprisingly hard to take off the body because the side on the other side doesn't stretch as you're taking it off. I would suggest taking the head off and taking the dress off over the top because I did pop a seam on the um, on the front of this one, which it's fine. It's just a little popped seam. It's not going to really kill the outfit or anything. It's just the hem on the top of the outfit, um, but that's okay. I did get uh, looks Fria, Frida and put her on our dream date Barbie. So that way we could keep her curvy. And then, yes. So we've got uh, this one on Christy Yamaguchi, this one on original uh, Purple Made to Move. Superstar actually went on one of the older Made to Move bodies, this one. I think she was the yellow top with like the flower pants, but she's actually got really loose joints because I thrifted her. So she, her legs flop around like kind of crazy when I have her standing like that. So she is going to be a sitting Barbie for now until I come up with another one of them. And because the purple made to moves, the purple top made to moves, have a penchant for breaking nowadays. I did actually break the neck on this one and I had to glue it back together. So the risk of um, rebodying is always there. So if you are trying to figure out which ones are which, again, basketball player, curvy yoga. This was for the um, uh, workout Barbie. Heat, which is for uh, Golden Dreams, Superstar Barbie, Purple Top Made to Move, Looks L, Original, uh, Medium Tone, Chrissy Yamaguchi, and New Heidi. And then Freya, I don't have an extra head because I had to take her off a body that I already had her on. So the owl cutie reveal had to, uh, got a, uh, a body uh, cannibalization. So if you guys have any questions on the made to move matches or anything, like I said, this one matches the volleyball made to move and possibly the brand new made to move. That is the new 2024 yoga. But for now, she's not getting rebodied in my collection. I'm going to just steal her outfit and put it on a cuter, cuter Millie. Um, so, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed it, leave me a like. And as always, follow along for some more fun unboxings. Thanks for sticking around for a longer video today, guys. Be good. Bye.